Hi there, I'm Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy. I'm a member of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. Um, I hail from the great state of Illinois, an eighth district of Illinois. Um, since last week, uh, or a couple weeks ago, when Special Counsel Mueller uh, indicted Paul Manafort, uh, Mr. Gates, uh, and Mr. Papadopoulos, uh, I've been receiving a lot of questions about where do we go from here and what does this all mean? And so I wanted to just take a minute to give you my thoughts on um, how I see uh, what has occurred um, in the kind of panoply of issues that we have with regard to the Russia probe. Um, and I want to focus on one specific portion of the set of indictments that came down, namely the indictment of Mr. Papadopoulos, since that was the most surprising uh, of the indictments that came down, um, as well as the fact that uh, uh, Mr. Do Mr. Papadopoulos is uh, making his debut on the stage of espionage and uh, the intrigue circuit here in Washington, D.C. Um, first, let's talk about Mr. Papadopoulos' guilty plea. Uh, Mr. Papadopoulos pled guilty to lying to the FBI about trying to set up meetings uh, with the Russians. Um, now, it's not illegal for uh, campaigns or campaign officials to meet with foreign officials. It happens all the time. Um, as you recall, even in 2008 and 2012, uh, then Senator Barack Obama, when he was running for president, um, met with foreign leaders uh, as part of his presidential campaign in 2008. Uh, Mitt Romney met with foreign leaders in 2012 when he ran for the presidency, and that is all perfectly legal. Um, usually they do this to uh, show their foreign policy credentials and so forth. Um, but what is illegal um, is lying to the FBI, which we know that Mr. Papadopoulos did. Um, and there are a few other things that are illegal that I should just point out to you with regard to our campaign laws. Uh, first, uh, foreign nationals, um, are not allowed to make any donations to a political campaign. So I, Raja Krishnamurthy, am not allowed to go to Russia or any other country and start having fundraisers over there. That would be a bad idea. Um, I couldn't accept rubles, I couldn't accept liras, I couldn't accept francs, um, and it would be a, uh, an automatic violation of the law. Um, secondly, um, you, you should know that only U.S. citizens um, and green card holders are allowed to make donations. So it's not just that you can't accept foreign currency, you can only accept uh, donations from people who are U.S. nationals and U.S. permanent residents. Third, under U.S. election law, any item of value um, needs to be uh, disclosed at the federal level, especially, and this is the, the key point, anything exceeding $200 or an aggregate exceeding $200. This isn't just money. It can be computers. It can be proprietary opposition research. It can be any kind of in-kind contribution that you might receive. Okay, so let's go back to Mr. Papadopoulos. Um, he uh, pled guilty to lying to the FBI about setting up contacts with the Russians. And in effect, he denied ever having contacted them. As you know, contacting them in itself or talking to a foreign official as a political campaign is not illegal. We already talked about that. So what was he really trying to cover up? That is really the substance um, of the I guess, question mark, if you will, uh, that hovers over Mr. Papadopoulos. Uh, was he trying to cover up something related to one of these underlying uh, election law problems that I had uh, talked about or, or violations of the law that might result if you accepted money from a foreign national or if you uh, accepted something in, in kind or of value exceeding $200 from a foreign national? Uh, we don't know yet, uh, but that is a big question that we're gonna have to ask as we move forward in this investigation and that I will be looking 
uh, forward to learning more about as Mr. Muller uh, discloses more about uh, uh, what happens in the days and weeks ahead. Thank you very much and I look forward to talking to you again soon.